During the late 80s and early 90s, there was a simple yet exciting genre in gaming, one that brought out a plethora of titles that captivated our hearts with non-stop action, stimulated our young imaginations with hard-hitting excitement, and ate all our quarters. That's right, my friends, we're talking about none other than the arcade beat em up. Ah, uh, yeah. However, when it comes to this specific genre, what's the first thing that pops into your mind? Is it Double Dragon? Final Fight? Or perhaps the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games? How about a little series called Crime Fighters? This lesser known Konami franchise, specifically the first game in the series, pretty much paved the template for the aforementioned Ninja Turtles games, which sadly overshadowed Crime Fighters on a massive scale. So in today's episode, we will briefly showcase all three games within this underrated series. Let's brawl! Ah uh, yeah! Released in April 1989, Crime Fighters is one of Konami's early beat-em-ups released in arcades. The game was released in both 2-player and 4-player version cabinets. Players take on a role of a team consisting of color-coded undercover cops. Their mission is to rescue a kidnapped group of hapless women held captive by a crime boss and his gang of thugs and punks. Players have three attack buttons, one punch button, one kick button, as well as a button to perform a spinning jump kick. You can attack enemies on the ground as well as wield weapons from enemies you defeated. There are noticeable differences between versions of the game, such as a self-depleting hit point system in the 4-player version and a traditional life bar slash live system in the 2-player version. Like many beat em ups of the era, Crime Fighters is a pretty fun yet brutally difficult game that can easily drain players of their precious quarters. An arcade archives version was released for modern platforms over three decades later. Vendetta, known as Crime Fighters 2 in Japan, is the sequel to the original 1989 title. In this second installment's plot, a criminal group known as Dead End takes control of a metropolis and thus names it Dead End City. Dead End's main adversaries are a new group of crime fighters called the Cobras. Unlike the first entry, this sequel puts players in the role of four distinct characters from the Cobras. Players have the ability to attack enemies on the ground and wield weapons just like in the previous title, as well as the ability to perform unique special attacks based on each individual Cobra character. The game was also released in both 2-player and 4-player version cabinets as well as regional differences between Japanese and international releases. Vendetta is a very fun and much more refined game compared to the first Crime Fighters title. And just like the first game, it was also re-released via Arcade Archives three decades later on modern platforms. Violent Storm is the third and final entry in the Crime Fighter series. The plot takes place in a post-World War III era, where a new criminal organization called the Geld Gang terrorizes civilization in the midst of its post-war restoration. And a new band of crime-fighting vigilantes are on a mission to crush the evil organization and rescue their friend. In Violent Storm, the gameplay and graphics evolve even further, incorporating much faster and dynamic action with colorful visuals and sprites. Players can take control of three unique characters, each having their own fighting style. Another standout element to Violent Storm is its amazing soundtrack. Released in two-player and three-player cabinets, Violent Storm was Konami's final beat em released in the arcades and would eventually fall to obscurity. It has yet to be re-released on any home platform to this very day, making emulation your only option to play. Violent Storm is hands down my favorite arcade beat em up as well as one of my favorite games of all time. So, that wraps up our Crime Fighter series showcase. So now I'll ask you guys, what are some beat-em-ups, whether it be a singular game or a franchise in beat-em-ups that's criminally underrated? Let me know in the comments below. This is Enigma Cat, signing out.
Thanks for watching.